or some bells. What's up everybody, I know I'm in the vlog properly back in Paris. Um, we basically stopped on that, that real expensive but famous street. Basically sat down, had a beer, had a long day of walking. After stopping for a beer, we just went back to the to the place where we were staying at, to the hostel, via the tubes there. The metro they call it there. Eh? Yeah, metro. Anyway, we made it back and now we are in Switzerland. We had a travel day yesterday actually, which means that Wait, let me break it down. So you have travel days and free days. So travel days are basically, you're gonna drive from one place to another and they usually consist of more than six, six hours. Could take up to 10 because every two hours we take a little break, get something to drink or <laughs> if you need to go to the bathroom or something like that. And basically that was yesterday's day. There was a travel day yesterday and then you get three days. Which we had in Paris is when you can go and check out the place where you are. Everything is up to you. You can choose what to do. Our tour gives us a little bus tour around. It will point out a few places around and then if you want to go and check them out it's totally up to you. You can do it as much as you want. Pretty much up to you what you, what you want to budget and everything like that. So. signaling that it's nine o'clock <laughs> we are currently walking to the train station and we are going up to the mountain or a place called young Frau. young Frau. young Frau. basically we're going to go on top of the world apparently the view is amazing from up there if the sky is clear looking around there's minimal clouds so i'm excited <sighs> let's go The views while you're walking there are amazing. So many huge mountains, the land is as green as it gets and it's feeling a lot more like home. Don't you think? Yeah. It's oh, man, spot on. This is the little train station that they got down here. This is going to take us all the way up to the mountain. I'm not too sure which direction it is at the moment, but this is it. Nice little train station here and the view to die for. I know this camera doesn't do it justice, but let me try and, let me try and, nah, it's, it's not gonna work, but trust me, okay? The views are to die for. starting to heat up out there. The views are so good there. Up here in the mountain there's a whole lot of things to check out. Um, apparently there's a flying fox up here, there's a restaurant, so many views as you already know. But with that sun coming down on that snow starting to heat up. I don't know where that place is but I'd like to visit that place. There's a map in the lobby back there and there's a whole tour and it goes around in a loop so we're gonna go visit some places that are up here there's a lift that goes up to somewhere to the flying fox so i'm looking forward to that but we're gonna go do the whole loop and then check out what to do out here this is cool though it's nice and cool yeah 
He's a cold, the rocks are so cold. The lookout outside was so hot with the sun beaming down on us, but inside these tunnels it's so cold. Even when you touch the walls, it's like nice and cold, like freezing. <laughs> We just realised after looking around a little bit more that this is that building on that epic picture of the sign of a building on a cliff looking down on the mountains. After looking around a little bit more, this is it. This is up another 100... Uh, 75 metres? Yeah, so we got up, it's about 3,000 metres and then we went up another 175. Yeah. Damn. It's insane. And it is high. It's a refrigerator up here. Yeah, my like <laughs> It's pretty cold. It's pretty cold. Anyway, <laughs> we still want to go around the building a little bit more. Here's those front windows that you see on that epic photo. Here's the outlook. Awesome view. Oh, spring. On the other side of this building, it's all covered by the shadow, and it, it is freezing. So, yeah, if you get a bit hot where the sun is, go wherever there is shadow, man. It is oh, cold, man. But, yeah. Okay, I think we've seen enough up here. Well, maybe not enough, but we've seen a lot. Trust me, it's worth coming up here. Everything surrounding us right now is ice. From the roof, the walls, and the crown. It's not that slippery though, so they must have done something to it, so normal shoes can grip onto it. So cold down here. So cold. <laughs> How fun is that? We've made it to the plateau. And this is where you can touch the snow. I've got Prime the NMDs on, so... She's got runners on as well, so if our shoes get wet, it's not going to be a good time. But, you know, you've got to come and check out the views. Wow. Once again, amazing. Man, I need glasses. That's a rookie mistake on mine. <laughs> oh, hey, team. Hello. Hey, hey. How, How good was that? Touch it very carefully. It's just hard as steel, but it looks so real. Got a few uh, souvenirs while we're here. Have to, have to. It's got the flag on it. Nice. Everyone's just on that door there, getting chocolate, of course. We're in Switzerland, got to get the cheese, got to get the chocolate as well, because you know, Switzerland. I'm not the biggest chocolate fan, but I'll definitely have a try of these chocolates that they're getting. Mm. 
Okay, so we've made it back to Lord to Brennan. This is where we are based at, our campgrounds or where we're staying in our cabins. It was a long train ride down. It was like just over an hour, I think, to go up. Same amount of time to come back down. Just walked up a huge hill and I'm taking a few deep ones here. But basically, it's three o'clock now. We we'll spent a whole day up the Alps. It was worth it. I mean, for 160 francs, 160 francs, you get to go up there. There's a whole village up there. There's a tour that you can go around there as well. Uh, other than that, that's going to be it for this vlog, I think. We're going to go back to camp. We're going to look at some Swiss army knives as well. See the crew just stopping up here. And yeah, other than that, thanks for watching the vlog. Coming back with another one. See ya.